this page by a Nigerian who's bread buttered and born. <laughs> That's what the 3B stands for. Okay, welcome to Niger BBB because I am Hario Freshness and I am born, bred, and buttered in Nigeria. My body is weary me. Okay, back to business. Hello and welcome to Niger BBB. I am Hario Freshness. I do again. And today we're talking matters of the heart. Matters of the heart. Okay, not exactly matters of the heart, but it's something that concerns me. Everything on this page, everything in this channel concerns me. And if you do not like it, go and subscribe to the page. Have you subscribed, guys? Have you? Are you just watching it and not subscribing? Subscribe now. What's your problem? Let's go to the topic of the day before I get carried away. Whenever I'm around ladies, you know, and even on social media, everywhere, relationship blogs, relationship, everything, I always hear, you bad demon, you bad demon, you bad demon. Ah, this is your bad demon, my life, you did this. Ah, this is your bad demon, you did this. I'm like, okay, I do go. You have not dated a lot of non evil guys. And you've had just as, you know, terrible experiences. And I have a lot of friends and sisters I've spoken to, and they've had terrible experiences from evil men but nobody's talking about them why why are we not talking about them so i'm here to talk about it hmm. now let me sit that way if you think that your bad boys are the demons that the devil sent into the world to come and break girls' hearts let me tell you what my evil brothers are they are the ones that we are sent to do the punishment in hell yes <laughs> They are the ones that carry out the devil's sentence. If you land with the wrong evil man, my sister. If you get with the wrong evil man, my sister. Oh, heavens. You're in trouble. And I mean this trouble is from everybody in his family. Especially when the sisters and mother don't like you. You're in trouble. You see that thing they show on Hollywood movies? You see that thing where they are doing the widow batting. Or when you're doing the wife of the marriage batting. <laughs> that's how it is in Ibo Lando. Yes, that's how it is. I go tell you true, I'm not gonna lie. I love you. I love you people. I have to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay, so let me be serious. <laughs> so for the purpose of this discussion, we're talking about all the men of Igbo ancestry. This means that they have a modicum of Igbo culture in them all around them. So we're talking about men from Abia, Anambra, Imo, Eboy, Enugu. We're also talking about those from Delta Rivers, Benue, Edo, Kogi. Yes, we have evil speaking men in some of the states as well. So, these men, first of all, you got to know pride. Our evil men are proud. This actually comes from a sense of entitlement that they have by the way they are brought up by the society. Yes, I have to say it. We're guilty of it as evil women. We give our men so much. And we expect so little from them that it is now a normal thing for them to you know misbehave now an evil man is more likely to not forgive you when you wrong him and although an evil man might not double date before marriage it's not a normal thing for them to do he's more likely to leave the relationship on flimsy excuses because of the sense of entitlement and also, their pride, like I said before, their pride is something you have to contend with. You have to learn when you are in a relationship with an evil man to make him do things your way without him knowing. There's something my mom used to always say. She says, oh, not, my, not just my mom, a lot of women. Come to think of it, they were all married to evil men. They always say, a man is the head, but the woman is the neck that directs the head that's a very powerful thing and if a lot of women would learn and apply it to their relationships i think most of these things will just you know really calm down but anyway i'm not here to tell you about my experiences you know my experiences or those of my friends and sisters with whom i had this discussion with no I, i'm not here to bad not any man or any of our men your bad demons or evil kaku demons you know i'm here to tell you <laughs> No matter the human being, no matter the species, man or woman, no matter the tribe or culture or where he grows up, did he grow up in their blood, did he grow up in the village, no matter where he grew up, 
Are you expecting to see men at school? <laughs> no, these men have feelings. These men have, they have a past. And sometimes these men behave like this for one or two reasons. One, he did not have the privilege of seeing a good relationship. He doesn't have the privilege of knowing what a good relationship looks like. This means that probably his family or friends or people around him when he was growing up didn't really show him or didn't really let him know that he could actually be in love with somebody and be happy. Some of them don't even know ah, that love can be a good thing. Some don't know. They don't have a modern relationship to think about or look at and learn and say, oh, except for now. You know that things are getting better so probably our sons will be better but men now they probably don't have modern relationships to look back at and say this is what a good relationship or this is what a good man should be like in a good relationship and then the second reason like i said if a man is terrible in a relationship is one of two reasons one he doesn't have a good relationship or a modern relationship to look at and the second is he's probably been treated bad by another woman so i think if you feel you can be patient enough to teach him, let him know, or you know, patient enough to bring him out and you know, teach him the good things and show him that love can be good and beautiful. If you have a patience, good. If you don't, my sister, run away. <laughs> and then the third category of men that don't know how to do anything good, those that are just calm. Some people are just calm, men or women. Some women are just calm. Some men are just calm. We can just all be calm together. Oh, I'm playing too much. So a scum man and a scum woman can make a good relationship of scumnessness. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I just, I just, I'm really happy, guys. I'm having a good day, and I have to shoot today, so I'm just gonna shoot a lot of and be funny and okay, don't mind me. So I hope you learned a thing or two from this. I don't know if I did that a lot of this stuff, but I think it makes a lot of sense. But it makes some sense. So you need to know something, ladies. You're about demons, Igbo Kaka demons, no matter the tribe, no matter the culture, no matter where the man comes from, something is making him terrible in a relationship. And if you can be patient enough to find out what the problem is, good enough, go girl, love can conquer all. But my advice to anybody, man, woman, Love yourself first before you love your partner. You can't give what you don't have. If you don't love yourself enough, you can never be good for anybody else. Which is probably why you get your heart broken all the time. You're always loving all the wrong people. So I'm not a relationship expert. This is just my own two cents. So like and follow me across all my social media platforms. Comments yeah. handles are in the comments below. Comment box. Come back for more. Thank you guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,